Welcome once again to the channel. It's Jacob, a passionate farmer, as always, about poultry keeping. In today's video, we are actually having our day old chicks out today. As you can see over there, we have two ends which are currently hatching, and we want to put them in a space where they should now be, which is the cage. We have this black hen over here, which hatched nine chicks yesterday, and then this one over here, she is still hatching the chicks, and I think she's having nine chicks as well. You can see, you can see the chicks, they are being hatched, but this one, the chicks are now fully hatched, they are now able to now go to the cage. But guys, the problem is now with the cage. We are only having one cage. I made an order to a carpenter to actually make two cages, but up to now, the guy has disappointed me. And unfortunately, my birds have now hatched, which means that it is now very hard for me to actually find a place where I should put the chicks. Because these chicks should be in a safe place, like that cage over there and right now what i'm thinking is that i am going to take this black hen over here with the chicks to the other cage so that i can remove their mother and then put this black hen over there i think it's going to work and if it doesn't work which means i am now going to put this kind of things the bricks but in a smaller size so that they can live in it so guys let me first try to actually make it work it's actually going to be hard for me to film it but i will try as much as possible so that you can also see the challenges that i'm facing that's why in my video yesterday i said that this cage over here is very important and if you are at all want to go for the local chicken you must find a way of finding these cages in fact, you should have them very many at your poultry farm. This is because all these birds hatch on different dates, on different days. But I heard that there is a way of hatching birds called a synchronized hatching. But I'm yet to understand that one into deep details. So guys, here we are. I have now put them inside. You can see the nine ticks. You can see them. They are a little bit different from the ones that were initially inside. You can see the chicks. These are the chicks. And their mother is actually out. She is right there. I have put her out because she can now recognize her chicks and the one which are not her chicks. And it will be very hard for the chicks to stay inside there because she will peck on them. That's why I want to put the black hen, which is right over here, inside so that it at least confuses her of her chicks because they will be mixed and it will be very hard for her to recognize her chicks and she will keep them as their own her chicks let us try to put her inside and then see her reactions to the other chicks she started with eating not minding about the chicks so Let's first try to see her reactions when she sees the other chicks. I think she's too angry, too hungry. She is still concentrating on the feeds, not minding about the chicks. But they are piled at the corner there. You can see them, guys. Those are the ones that were initially inside. Plus some other new ones that I've brought. Let's first see, guys. If it works, then the other white one will now not go back inside. She will now stay outside. And the one which is hatching, that's the same thing that we are actually going to do. She's very aggressive outside here. She doesn't want to see any hen around the cage. That's how... She is reacting by chasing them away but our focus is to see how this hen over here will react to other chicks which are there i think it will be very hard for her to differentiate the chicks so let's first try to leave her for a while 
and then we'll come back after some 10 minutes to see how she is now keeping them i think she can now keep them guys take a look she is now taking care of them all very well but the problem is now with this mother this hen over here take a look at her she is desperate feeling lonely she now have no chicks she is feeling lonely but anyway that is how it should be what we are going to do is that we are going to tie it like the other bird so that it can forget about her chicks so that is with the chicks guys i'm now very sure 100 percent sure that this hen can keep these chicks very well without any problem as you can see they are all fine all very fine and i've been preparing clean water for them and here is the water very clean with the chick drinkers make sure that you give them the chick drinkers at this stage because they are still young and if you are to use the adult drinkers at times the chicks may fall and then drown and then die and then inside the water i have put multivitamins inside it as we all know multivitamins help so much to strengthen these young birds and then give them enough energy to actually grow very fast so that's actually what we are doing and let me give them the water and then we will be done with the chicks you can see them very fine but this hen is not letting go of anything she doesn't want to go anywhere and if any hen comes across she will aggressively fight it look at her she wants her kids back that's what she wants but no way there's no way you can now go inside go and then give us more chicks that's what we want on our poultry farm <laughs> so let me put the water inside ensure that you have enough drinkers for your birds let the drinkers be more than enough to your birds so we should put one over there at the corner and then others this side I think here will be okay for easy accessible of the water and then the last one can be somewhere here we'll leave the other space over there for them to actually play around and then sleep as you guys can see they are still resting so that one with the chicks and then second is that the feeds that we give to these chicks must be rich in protein this is to ensure that they grow very fast within the shortest period of time this is the source of protein that we are actually using on our poultry farm you can see this is fish meal an animal protein source so this is actually what we use you can either use soya bean bone meal blood meal meat meal they are actually very many sources of protein whether the plant protein or the animal protein but what you should know is that the animal protein is more digestible than the plant protein but it is very hard to find like the blood meal you cannot find blood meal in high quantity that's why we normally shift to the soya bean which is easily found in our in most of our areas in fact I've made a video of feed formulation there are three videos if you haven't watched those videos then you are actually missing a lot first go and watch all the three videos that way when it comes to mixing your own poultry feed you will not find any difficulties at all otherwise thanks for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel do me a favor subscribe to the channel like the video and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll never miss out in case I upload any new video and if this is your first time watching this channel my name is Jacob a passionate farmer about poultry keeping on this channel we talk about poultry farming in general we talk about the layers broilers the local chicken which we are currently keeping on our poultry farm the ducks the geese the guinea fowl any kind of poultry you will find it on this channel 
So if you have been one of the people that have been looking for channels that can teach you on how you can run a poultry farm successfully, then you're very blessed because you're in the right area. But before, do me a favor. If you find the content that I'm always giving to you guys is very beneficial to you, like the video. That way YouTube will recommend this video to other more people that will also help them in one way or the other. And if you have any question regarding poultry keeping, just drop it in the comment section below. I am willing to answer at any time. And I've left a question on you guys. Do you know anything about the synchronized hatching? Synchronized hatching. I really want to use that method. So if you know anything about the synchronized hatching or you know somebody who knows anything about the synchronized hatching, then help me out so that I can start using this method of hatching chicks on my poultry farm as well. You know, with poultry farming, there is no one who is 100% perfect in it. We all gather information from one source or the other. That way we can make it big at the end. Otherwise, one more time, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.